wonderful. A very warm welcome to everyone to our online launch event. I hope you can hear me well, and I'm excited for this launch event of the Glean Bike. We are lo looking forward to all the updates and news. I'm Johanna, your moderator for today. I'm, I'm happy to guide you for this exciting event. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed this awesome video and are, are super curious about what is to come. But for now, please um, just turn off your camera and listen now to the Gleam team. They are super excited to present you today the awesome bike and the latest updates. And now I don't want to leave you hanging anymore and hand over to Eva, Head of Business Development of Gleam. Eva, are you there? Great to have you guys here. Um, quick look at the agenda so you know uh, what we have until for you. Um, we're going to have 50 minutes time to show and explain to you our new bike category, the multi-use bike. And um, then there will be a quick video to show you uh, what our bike can do and how it actually bikes. It would be great to have you guys live here and just jump on the bike. But Felix took over that part for you yesterday. Uh, so um, some tips and tricks will be there. Um, and then the reveal of our new models uh, will happen. And after that, we have time for questions. So last summer, we started the production of our Gleam Bike. It has been quite a challenge uh, because it was postponed a bit due to the pandemic. Uh, but last uh, end of June last year, uh, the first bikes were rolling out of the factory and we are super happy that we created a new category of electric bikes, which actually fits the changing demands of traffic. With our Gleam bike, you can escape your limits. And why can you escape your limits with our Gleam bike? We will show you uh, more on that later on. Um, so what is our bike about? It's quite unique. Um, it has, on the one hand, a lot of features of a mountain bike, as you can see on the picture. People who drove it, they know it. It's fun and easy to drive. It handles urban obstacles uh, like uh, cobblestone, but also in a rural area, like on a forest street, it can handle um, every uh, surface the bike drives on. And on the other hand, it has a lot of cargo bike features. So you can load it with up to 120 kilos. It's quite narrow, uh, so it's only 80 centimeter broad, which means it fits on every bike lane, it fits through a normal door, and it is built in a very sustainable manner. For whom did we then build this bike? Um, it's for people who are in need of multi-usage. So that means our bike needs to fit the people's needs. On the one hand, in the work, circumstance on the other hand in private circumstances so that it really is a green vehicle which allows you to be mobile with um, to your daily lives and um, to give you a better feeling how it is then to drive a clean bike we taped felix yesterday and uh, have fun watching it and if you have questions about the driving behavior write them already down and we can answer them later hi my name is Felix, and now I'm going to show you some nice riding experience on our new multi-use bike, Gleam Escape. Let's go! Well, um, I hope you guys are now all excited to drive our Gleam bike. And uh, to show you a bit more what Gleam Escape is all about, we are ready to reveal our new model. 
Hi, also from our side. Felix is also live here. My name is Mario. I'm one of the founders and uh, CEO of Gleam. And we started our journey of Gleam already a long time ago. But last year, we introduced the Gleam Series X e-bike. With our unique dynamic tilting technology, which you just saw in the video, we already created the solid base for our product, which some of you already enjoy and love. But now this year, we are proudly presenting our new model that will suit all of your needs. And this is the Gleam Escape, the multi-use bike. Yeah, but what's so new about the multi-use bike? We not only provide you with our unique driving experience as you know it with our DTT and full suspension, but also offer the right superstructures for your everyday use. And we call it the flex system probably inside here. We offer three different superstructures for different uses. So we have first our flex cover version, which is like the lightweight and the super spacious kind of way where you can easily transport up to three euro boxes in a row. That's the small version. We have a large version and a medium version also. The flex work box is our solid aluminum box, which is lockable for your very precious goods. And it's also highly customizable for your personal business. And last but not least, which we are very proud of, our new family version, Flex Life, which also easily fits your children, your dog, and your groceries in the back. So you can go everywhere with it, go shopping, and have your everyday life being done with this particular nice superstructure. So the main thing about Flex was that we wanted to have it switched very easily between all the superstructures so that you have full flexibility for all your needs. So when life changes, Gleam changes with you. And now we're gonna show you very quickly also a little bit more of our light version so you can take off the rain cover. We have also some nice space for very important goods for you. Uh, you can either place a bicycle for your, for your children inside there uh, additionally, so if they don't want to ride anymore, they can ride with Gleam. And it's also very easy to take off, so we can always unlock the system, which is up, and then we can easily like pull the whole superstructure off and then replace it with any other superstructure that you can see here and that we have in our portfolio. We offer various sizes, various um, advantages of each of those superstructures. So uh, that's the flex system. But still you get the advantages of our unique driving experience. So you can drive everywhere, on bike lanes, on gravel, on grass, on woods, like where you just need. And also the full suspension supports you all the time, gives you the maximum comfort for your cargo and for yourself to have this nice driving experience. We have the cargo in the back. That means you as a driver always have full control in daily traffic. You see around corners and you always are the safeguard of your precious cargo. And you see what's in front of you, but maybe you transport your kids and the kids always see you and they don't have to turn around, but have a focus on you while you have a focus on city traffic. A clean bike also offers high durability and easy maintenance due to high quality components. We use European suppliers mostly and really the high end components on the bike market and from motorcycle industry and whatever suits best the needs of your daily traffic. And all of that makes the Gleam Escape a true multi-use bike. To sum it up, um, our bike uh, has the perfect combination of comfort, quality, safety, and now 2021, also the flexibility to put just whatever you're up to on the back of the bike. It's just one bike with three optional add-ons on the back. Uh, so on the one hand, the work version, the cover version, and the flex light version. To go on to the next slide with the work version, um, there are some features which are special here. Number one, the work version has two sizes, so 300 liter or 500 liter. It is lockable. 
and it can have extras. And the extras are, for instance, it can have fasteners for a broom or for a shuffle or for a ladder. So whatever you need for your work, for instance, it can be put on the bike. In the box, there can also be some specials. For instance, we can add extra compartments um, if you need to transport goods which need to be like locked. And it can also be ordered with isolation. So passive cooling is possible. You can also make it two cells, so one for warm, one for cold. And of course, this box is again uh, customizable. Um, it can be branded, which we will show you in, uh, in a video later on. Then our cover version, as Felix already mentioned, it's a lightweight. Um, the big one uh, has up to 650 liters of volume and it fits Euro boxes. So that's quite handy for either logistics or, for instance, for transporting of food. Um, and again, it can be branded and colored. Um, so we saw some really interesting uh, versions already out on the market and happy to see many more the upcoming months. And then last but not least, our live version. So um, our live version has now space for up to two kids, but you can take the bench out and put in two dogs, for instance. As shown before, it has plenty of space for groceries or your camping equipment. Um, and you can order it with a rain cover. So whatever you want to transport also keeps dry, but during summertime, hopefully not needed that often. And all of the compartments inside are switchable. So um, any questions on that later on, let us know and we will answer them. With whom is this all possible? As Mario mentioned before, yes, we are very proud of that it's quality made in Europe. So our engineering team is located in Italy and uh, they supported us now for a few years to bring this bike to the market in this very sturdy way it is designed. And also the past few months were very much involved in the whole development of our new flex system. And then on the other hand, we have our uh, smart factory in the Netherlands and they put our bike together and from there, they, we ship them throughout Europe within uh, four to six weeks after ordering the bike. And last year, we got amazing feedback from our Gleam drivers. So we managed to already reduce up to 1,000 tons of CO2, which is great. And we are looking forward to do that way more and in a way bigger volume this year with many more Gleam bikes out on the roads. And to give you a bit of a feeling what partners are saying about us, we have one video prepared. Also, für uns ist es einfach so, als Raufenkehrer im innerstädtischen Bereich äh, fährt einfach ein Raufenkehrer mit dem Rad und sein Werkzeug dabei, braucht eine Pack mit Zucken, er spart sich einen Haufen Zeit. Ja. Und zusätzlich ist es natürlich in der Innenstadt eine super Werbung, weil wir sind EMAS zertifiziert, also ein umweltzertifizierter Betrieb. Und da ist es natürlich in Richtung grüner Raufbahnkehrer sozusagen der erste Schritt. Ja, einsetzen damals für einen Lehrling, der schon im zweiten Lehrjahr ist, der hat sozusagen auch schon Häuser betreut. Äh, der hat auch einen Führerschein und damit ist es das super, dass der mobil ist. Der große Vorteil ist aber mittlerweile reisen sich die Mitarbeiter schon in den städtischen Bereich. Da haben sie einfach die Zeit fürs Backen zu suchen, Sport, man bekommt keine, äh, keine Strafzettel mehr fürs Falschbacken. Also das ist einfach äh, Gewinn auf allen Dingen. Drei Räder war deswegen für mich äh, eigentlich die Option, es kommt mir sicherer vor, wenn ich äh, äh, Güter transportiere, weil ich nicht kippen kann. Äh, mit zwei Rädern, wenn das ein bisschen verrutscht, bei einer Ampel, ich muss stehen bleiben, auf einmal neige ich mich, das will ich nicht haben. Äh, wie gesagt, das Ding war, dass ich einfach mobiler werde, es ist für mich kein Sportgerät, sondern ein Nutzfahrzeug äh, von A nach B und von B zurück nach A für die alltäglichen Erledigungen. Dass man einkaufen geht, dass man Sachen transportiert einfach. Also ja, das, was man mit einem kleinen Auto auch macht. Also für mich ist es der, der City-Pizza-Ersatz. 
Ja, ich habe mich eigentlich schon relativ bald für die Elektromobilität entschieden. Wir haben vor zwei Jahren schon ein Elektrofahrzeug angeschafft, äh, habe mich eigentlich relativ stark damit befasst. Und durch das, dass wir die Stadt nähe haben oder eigentlich fast im, nur im innerstädtischen Verkehr unterwegs sind, zum größten Teil, und das Thema natürlich immer mehr wird, dass halt die, die Stadtgebiete teilweise gesperrt werden, beziehungsweise bei uns in der Stadt die Innenstadt gesperrt wird, mit voller Tagsweise, dass es halt schwierig ist, unsere Kunden zu beliefern. Ähm, wenn ich dann schlussendlich auf ein Lastenrad käme, war, war auch nicht so leicht, beziehungsweise habe ich viel geschaut, lang gesucht, äh, aber so ein richtiges Lastenrad habe ich eigentlich am Anfang nicht gefunden. Also nichts mit dem, was ich zufrieden war, nichts, was man passt hat. Es waren so Familienräder, Familienlastenräder oder wie man es so nennt. Aber hat eigentlich nichts mit einer Last zum tun. Es waren halt, waren halt Spielereien eigentlich, kann man sagen. Für alle möglichen Sachen, also alle mittelgroßen Literungen, kann man alle mit dem Grieben ausliefern. Geht sich alles super aus. Ist auch sehr wendig in der Stadt. Backverzug ist auch super mit dem Ding. Funktioniert sehr gut. Also der Kiffmechanismus ist eben in der Kurve total super, eine schöne Kurvenlage, auch ein schöner kurzer Wenderadius und was mir besonders gut gefällt sind auch die Hinterräder, da wir keinen Achter haben, dadurch dass das ein komplettes Kompositlaufrad ist. Alright, um, so uh, hi again from us. Hello, hi. <lacht> And I hope you enjoyed the last um, 20 minutes. I'm not sure it uh, all went pretty fast. And we are looking forward to your questions. So just post them in the chat and Johanna will forward them to us. Um, so I would say I hand it over again to Johanna. What questions are there for us? Thanks, Eva. It was wonderful watching you and watching all the videos. And there were coming in a couple of questions. So the first one was actually on the durability tests. Um, what um, or are there any durability tests done with the gleam tilting technologies? Do you have any kind of information on that for us? Sure. Maybe I will answer that. So what we did last year was really testing it to the limits. And what we will also do for this year, um, again, for our new model, all the details, and we work um, with um, the best suppliers in the market, especially for the kids version, with um, standard seat belts from the car industry, so with the main suppliers there. In terms of durability tests, we work, for example, with TÜV Süd and other partners for different um, areas. We are in contact with several companies who also might do a crash test. But um, we see um, that this caused some uh, media from, from other players on the market in the last year. So we will test it to the limits, of course, to always provide a safe and great vehicle. Um, but um, yeah, we will come back to that later when uh, the product is on the market and, and show you more details about this. Next question, please. <laughs> yes. So there are still a couple of, so um, the next one was about actually the possibilities of funding or of leasing it. Is, do you have kind of any recommendations for us? Is there the possibility of getting a little bit of uh, funding extra help? Yeah, I, think, I think I will answer that question. So there are various funding options depending on your country and the city where you're from. So as an example, here in Vienna, we have a fund of about 30% for businesses, but also for private people. So it very much depends on your destination. And also for financing, we have a couple of leasing partners. So we have leasing um, opportunities here in Austria, Germany, um, Netherlands, and Belgium, and keep increasing the options for um, better financing options for you. So maybe also just, um, from whomever that question was, let us know where you're from. Yes, we can definitely support you there. Um, just drop me an email and I will try to help you. Great. Many thanks. Then a, a simple one in between. Felix, how much time did, you, did it take you to actually get a customized to ride this bike? That fancy. A customized bike? Yeah, that's uh, not really hard. So uh, we have a good supplier in Austria that is um, working with us together for the superstructures. 
Um, so when it comes to super to customizing whatever you need for um, your superstructure, that's done uh, super quickly since we can communicate it super fast. And also uh, for your bike, um, we have the option to make it in different colors from the RAL code. So we can customize also the color on your needs. Um, so if you need a, a, a bike customized to your needs, it would be just like one week more or two weeks more in production, but uh, then we have the perfect fit for your business. Been exciting. What they also mean is they really liked your driving behavior. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a very special <laughs> skill that you can uh, learn very fast actually. Um, so uh, going down uh, hill with the bike is super fun actually, as you've seen. So uh, you can really go even more steep. I tried it um, many times before, and like also what I think what is important to mention is the sidewalk action. So um, you will face this a lot when you are in, in urban traffic. That you have to go up and down of the sidewalks and as you more trust the technique of us the more you will uh, go a further step into your driving experience and that's really fun okay now you answered both questions actually yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw them before johanna uh, on the screen here <laughs> <laughs> Maybe also how are the boxes connected actually to the bike? So is it safe? Is there any kind of danger that you that they are getting off? So what is the connection to the bike? Can you explain that a little bit? So we have um, our flex space, which is really screwed with good um, solution to our rear carrier. And to the flex space, you can always adjust each individual box, which Eva, for example, and Felix explain in detail. And the connection is um, really a high level, sophisticated solution where we try to, to figure out the best way to make it as easy as possible to put the box on and off, but also to secure it in the best way. So it's a good solution to really clamp it to the box and there are um, the forces applied on the vehicle in, in the best way possible. So it's four points where it's locked, two in the front, two in the back, to make sure that the box can slide on and off. And you can unlock those four uh, points and then you can take the box off. Okay, that um, looks like a super safe option, but how about theft protection of the bike? Is there any kind of possibility here? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, so um, there are um, at the moment two options. So we have a GPS tracker from Power Unity. I think Yanni put it in the, in the chat already. So the GPS tracker ensures that you already also um, know where the bike is uh, located. You can track your routes. So that is one option. But then on the other side, there is also the option to get an external lock, which has the same key as the battery. And also we're working on a new solution for having a lock directly on the bike for quick and easy locking. So I think we, um, to also extend that, um, we also have a new motor inside, um, which is super open in terms of software. Um, and therefore um, also suppliers out there um, already have the option um, in their portfolio to lock the motor as well. So we will go into development with that option and maybe also can get rid of the, the, the lock in the end, which would be nice. So you have the lock on your phone and you can just lock your phone and lock, your, lock, lock the bike with your phone super quickly. But let's not run ahead. That's, uh, I think, developments for 2022 and focus on 2021. <laughs> That's great. Then one specific uh, question about the uh, usage in logistics. Can you say something about um, where, how it can be used in logistics, about the DCO, the robustness in the daily professional use? What is um, the bike? How does it go in comparison to a van? And elaborate a little bit on that. Yes. So actually, that's, I think, one of the points where uh, the whole journey with Gleam started many years ago to... Uh, figure out new uh, logistic concepts on uh, last mile delivery. And ever since we have been uh, involved in several processes there and our bike is built to last. So that means for logistics, it needs to be robust. It doesn't need a lot of service, which is important because um, a bike must run then almost 24 seven. 
so um, the components of our bikes and the design is in a way that it can run daily operations. And with the new flex system, it's even better because um, it can be um, preloaded. So that means uh, the versions we have here, uh, sorry, Felix, <laughs> you can uh, load or unload them beforehand and then just put the whole constructions on there, which for instance, for messenger services can be quite handy because they lose a lot of time when they need to bring in the bike, then load it and then drive out again. That whole process can already be done beforehand. And we have um, partners who are already happy with that new um, experience and with those new options. Cool. Yeah. There are a couple of super specific questions in there. Um, maybe we can then answer them in, in an email. I will go forward with the more general one because one thing that might affect many people is uh, maintenance. So maintenance. Yeah. Uh, how is it about <laughs> that? And um, how, do you have any kind of experience in that um, for yes. the films or for et cetera? Yes. Um, so I was uh, taking the bike for a ride, I think, uh, the longest in the last year, also in terms of kilometers, uh, by presenting the bike. Um, and what we, uh, what, we, what we thought in the beginning wasn't surely not that what we know now. Um, so um, one of the most critical parts which you always have to take care of is uh, the tension of your belts. Since we have a full uh, belt driven system, it's very important to uh, check on all of the four belts regularly. Um, it's super easy to, um, to tighten them again or to loosen them. So these uh, steps are being done very quickly. It's also uh, important, uh, normal service that you would do on a bike, like you check the fork, um, you would check also on the wheels, on the pressure, um, but these are like standard procedures that you have to do. Um, what was important for us is that you can access all of those maintenance parts super quickly. So uh, we already had this uh, flex space with, which you saw where you have the superstructures on. You can take it off easily. So you have full access on all the uh, components that are within the bike. So you can change the differential or the drive shafts or the belts super fast. And also um, for the standard procedures, as I mentioned, checking belt tension, checking uh, the pressure on the wheels on the fork, also, um, you can check in between uh, the functionality of the electric parts um, within your uh, dealer, within your dealer in your um, in your uh, next in your next rural area. So I think uh, these are the most most important parts. Um, but also um, for that matter, if you want to have more even more detailed information about that, we can also have this uh, written to you in a, by an email. Um, so please just contact us uh, if there is any uh, detailed question about the maintenance and the parts that you need. Or go to the experts, which is close to you. Yes. So uh, people who are not as technical as Felix is. <laughs> so uh, many of our end users. Um, we have a national network in Belgium and in the Netherlands. So we have partners there who take care of your service. They even have service plans. So if you purchase a Gleam bike, you can just take a service plan from them and based on how often you use the bike, they come for maintenance every two or three or maybe only once every six months, just depending on your driving behavior. And uh, in Germany, we already have up to uh, 40 dealers and are looking for a national partnership on maintenance there as well. And in Austria, we can offer that as well. So um, don't worry if you're not that technical or if you just want it to be uh, done by a professional. Um, we have those partners out there who are experts on our bike as well. I will add something. <laughs> I started in sales and now I'm a mechanic. <laughs> it's really easy to uh, get along with all the technical details. Yeah. Wonderful. That, let me know, is there still a place for one more question? I think one last question. And then um, if you have more questions, then just um, also still put them in the chat um, or email them to us um, or via one of our social channels. And we will take the time in the afternoon uh, to answer the questions. Uh, and also maybe it's important um, that more material and footage like detailed, how does the flex really look like? How is the family version really looking like? Um, so you can order it because 
course, it's important that you can see it. We will forward that information to you after the presentation, um, the latest beginning of next week when we have everything wrapped up. Okay. So then, one last question. <laughs> yes. Uh, so for all the questions regarding customization, I think it's best if you just directly contact the team and they will help you with all your detailed questions. But one question which also interests me actually, what does, what's the story behind the naming of Gleam? So I think that would be a wonderful last question. Sure it is. Um, I'm happy to discuss it. Um, I think it, it took quite a, a journey, but the original idea was to always design technologies that make the world a better place. And uh, commonly out there, it's called green technologies or clean technologies. And you think about solar technologies, solar panels, uh, wind power, and mobility is coming closer together to, to the energy sector. And for us, uh, in the same naming, like green or clean, it's clean technologies was the start of our company. And we think uh, bikes in cities are really a gleam of hope. So. Um, if you're foreign language um, speaking, like German as I do, Google it, the gleam of hope is really um, this is what we want to put into cities. And also for us, gleam um, fits to our team because um, since I work with these people, we are always the gleam team. That's also um, even better than a dream team. And also, um, one of our original um, websites was Gleam Products. And Gleam Products is normally how you clean your, your car. So you polish it, and afterward, it's shining. And we said, OK, you polish the car so long that you only have bikes there at the end, and cars are gone from cities. So that's kind of the story behind Gleam. And we think it really sounds great. Sometimes my mom says glim or glim, <laughs> but uh, that's another story. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. So that was, for my part, everything. Then I hand over to you for some final goodbye words. Oh, thank you very much from our side. Yes, um, totally. Great that you joined us uh, this noon and looking forward to many more questions and have a look on our website if you want to order your Gleam bike or if you want to book a test ride with us or one of our uh, Gleam dealers in 10 uh, countries nowadays available. Uh, so looking forward to many, many Gleam bikes out on the road this year. Bye from us. Bye bye. Goodbye. Thank you for joining. Hope Thank to see you, you soon.